time you pickle. You can take your power though. Good. That was I just hyped and up the race up your to make ass. You. People willing to invest may reap huge profits in the future. My God. <laughs> weaponize or not weaponize. The local population no longer feels Pickle. safe. Oh, suck it up. Could I maybe get some push? Yes, yes, I'm going to. Those of us that have bet upon the bank have lost. God damn it! Our most prestigious house, Fortney of House Buttermilk. Butter biscuit. Butter biscuit. Oh, that's a tough decision. Oh, that sound, I like that. Welcome back, everyone, to our multi generational journey through the kingdom of Ankist and the, and the wild dilemmas contained within. Last time we saw uh, kingdoms rise and fall and new power come into play. Here, here! I've made a fresh batch of potion to celebrate the new reign! Huzzah! House Butter Biscuit is truly just in her position of leadership that she has made potion for all of us to imbibe with. My father's cup is still filled with. She and her household provided us with an heir who went on to become king, our new king. King Red Lobster. The Red Lobster. Symbolized by the Red Lobster at the front of her house. I am here representing the kingdom of Dorcas. <laughs> I, we just changed it because name, like it got, always got mixed oh. up. And I am here to continue the work of my father and his father before him and his father before him. Who do we have over here, masked stranger? I am Rygon the Fourth. My father, from what I've heard, fucked a pickle last generation, and now I'm a mix of the Rygon house and the pickle house. Since we're already touching on house pickle. Yes, pickle cube. Not the normal shape we're used to seeing of a pickle. And then over to my right, who do we have? I come from a long line of mediocrity. Hi, I'm depressed thistle pine. Got it, depressed. There you go. Oh, oh no, but I'm, I'm she's depressed eating. You know, just gotta get out of bed in the morning. Last and of course not least, we have the only person who's been at this council the whole time. I'm very old, I'm the potion master. Oh, oh yeah, I'll drink to that. Our immortal potion master and current closest ruler to the realm. I think you'd be used to it by now. I never tasted my, my own. Now that we're all here, it's a pleasure meeting all of you and I can't wait to do some amazing work for this kingdom. Great. Now to, blow all of that up with secret agendas that'll turn us at each other's throats. Can't wait. Um, I believe the first person to go will be... So I discard one. You discard one, randomly. <laughs> Look at your trinkets. Oh, my my yeah. grandfather gave those to me from... Yeah, Who you're... gave them? I gave him much. those trinkets. Met him. Like... A long time ago. The extremist agenda desires the largest distance possible between two resources on the resource track. My grandfather invested the witch's trinkets many generations ago. It's like the, uh, the Bitcoin of today. The rebel agenda needs resources to be at either extreme of the resource track. How about? There you are. Mm. Obvious. <laughs> Very old. The greedy agenda wants a few resources to be at either extreme of the resource track and also desires to get the most gold coins. All but right. they always ID me everywhere I go. I... I would, you take that. The moderate agenda desires all of the resources in the middle of the resource track. <laughs> the opulent agenda wants all of the resources in the positive half of the resource track. Let us begin with a dilemma. The council will proceed to vote on the dilemma by placing power tokens on the eye or nay cards in front of their house screens. Council members may also pass on voting by taking a coin from the bank and either gathering power or choosing to become the moderator and tiebreaker of this vote. Whichever house puts the most power behind their vote shall become the leader of this issue and will sign their family's name to the history books. And new envelopes may be opened to further the storyline and introduce new dilemmas for the council. The end of the game will be triggered if the king dies or if he abdicates his throne. The king will abdicate if the kingdom's resources fall too far out of balance and he will die if too much time passes. Our spies have discovered that the gray wheat disease caused by an experimental fertilizer, uh oh, which I am completely unfamiliar with, this is the first I'm hearing of it, invented by the disreputable Murian scholar Euclidius, the kingdom of Mur knew, but decided to hide the truth from us. 
This leaves us no other choice but to go to war. Will the preparations start? Do we send an assassin to Muir to punish Euclidius first? The clit is hidden from us? Punish the Clitius. Well, first we're gonna have to find them. Well, what happens if we do? What happens if we don't? If we vote nay, we have sacrificed all of our morals for that. Ah. If we, but if we vote aye, we will have some. <laughs> morals. Morals, <laughs> or whatever that symbol is. I was gonna say, the people with the ashen mark, I mean, they're lower than us. That's just how it works. Not so long ago, they used to be one of us. <laughs> I vote I. You vote I to vote send, I. to do vengeance, I see. I also <laughs> vote to pass. You bitch. And I vote to invest in my future. Because this is the best time to invest. Is that what your father told you? It's the very beginning, not the end, like an idiot. Picking up a lot of coins there, <laughs> My Rygar. father learned this because your father betrayed him. And I'm going to get my vengeance on you, Derek. Rygon the fourth, didn't your dad die sad and alone and tied up? My great grandfather. Oh, that's right. His last words were, I made a mistake. <laughs> I pass and invest. I see where the room's going. Where's my pass card? Oh, oh it's. Oh wait, it there. does. So that's an I there. Hmm, oh. that would cost me a pretty penny to prevent us from going to war. Oh, I voted for war? You did. You know, it's so funny because my, my great grandmother hated war. Yeah, your family's real flip floppy. Isn't that how family goes? <laughs> you wouldn't know, you're immortal. What are you doing, Derek? It's Dorcas. I Dorcas, it's Derek. Will. I thought it was Derek. Pass, it's Devin. but only for, for this. Uh -huh. For the moderator. Can you still invest? I choose not to. Without any say in how the bank operates in the council, why would I put that up to chance? The eyes have passed. So what? So, so let's what see. What happens to us all now? We do not tread lightly against those that protect the enemies of the kingdom. Yes. A few days later, the news that Euclidius was found dead, drowned in his own fertilizer, is widely reported. Liquid Plus fertilizer? The three. Clint is drowned in shit? Plus three! One, two, three, four. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And a titty! <laughs> oh, hell yeah, with a big nip. <laughs> a big supple boob. <laughs> and then we also open envelope 54. 54! An event card! We are at war with Muir. The Murians unleashed the ash bread plague upon us. <laughs> oh no! By utter incompetence, if not with fraudulent intent. Release Even worse, the mosquitoes! They tried to hide the truth from us. We have no other choice but to declare war. We'll have to prepare for battle. Special rules. Place the next card, uh, the deployment card, in the event area of the realm board. This is scary. So does it take the place of the coin investment? No, I don't think so. I think you just throw it over there. Then shuffle the third and fourth cards of this envelope into the dilemma deck like you would with contents of a regular envelope. As long as this event card is in play, whenever you pass during a vote phase, you may invest power tokens from your pool on this event. Oh -ho. Place them on one of the sections of the deployment card, those for your spot. If the total is 10 or more, the battle is won. If the total is less than 10, the battle is lost. You know, last time we went to war with Mir, they acquired Bloden. Huh. So, yeah, because we just didn't fight, and so we became a spoil. Hmm, interesting. Huh. Yeah. How do you like that? We just kind of go with the flow. Profit from the pillage. Mm -hmm. That's a, yeah, I suppose that's the way you could put it. I think I saw a shirt with that phrase on it. Not in our village. The only shirts we sell say party naked. <laughs> Laszlo, a botanist, requests funds to study the poisonous red cacti covering a small area of the ivory desert. Some believe them to be the tears left behind by Orsel, the saint daughter of strength, when she took the burden of human brutality upon herself to free us from it. Mm. Do we fund Laszlo's research? A knowledge and a sticky? can't see that last Oh, time. oh, yes. And a negative knowledge. Negative knowledge, sorry, and I Negative blanked. knowledge, ooh. You're good. <sighs> what say I? Ooh. I say I. I. Hmm, you choose ignorance. This does not surprise me. Coming what? from the torques. I've been alive a long time. Not you. I choose ignorance, and I will put two powers to prove it. Ignorance is bliss, <laughs> is I the declare. phrase on our sigil. That's right, Pickle. Let's bump pickles. My pic my pickle <laughs> yeah, bump, bump pickles, baby. I pass for um, power. No, 
moderator. I know. Wow. I know. I know. I know. What good is power if we don't use it to further oh. this great nation? Yeah. You didn't have. Oh, 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 smart, 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 smart. Yes. I take this. Have, have you dragged on crazy? Additionally, more power thrust. More Pickle. power. Pickles. What? Pickles are nasty. We'll do it together. One more power piece? That will make it a tie. That'll make it a tie. And who is the moderator? We'd give you we'd give you a gold coin for your tie breaking vote there. What do you want from us? Baby, I want I want nay. Let's do one and if one. If you do Oh yeah. shit. Who knew that was gonna happen? Okay. <laughs> one and one? One and one, pickle man. So that makes it a tie. Moderator. The nays have it. Hey! Yeah! Wow. Wow. That's right! We can think of many better ways to spend rather money rather than funding useless research on a red ornamental plant. We deny Laszlo's request. Minus two paper. Minus two. One, two. One, two. My power is all wet. Does that, no, does that, that was flip minus, to white or so does it? It would stay the dark side. It would side. gain momentum. Yeah. And then it would go one more. It'd go into the And then we get a side. tit. Oh, right. A right tit. And a tit. Yeah, that was pretty bad. All right. Pretty bad indeed. Wait, oh, oh, the centaur! Oh, the door yes. yes. centaur oh, is here! Yay! Wow. Wow. Oh, it is the door oh, oh. centaur. Here I right. My great grandfather told me stories of the door Centaur. I never thought I'd see him. He myself. knew that these heavy decisions weighed on our minds and stomachs. It smells so delicious. Bringing wow. us more order it is here. It. Thank oh, you thank to you, you it. fine centaur. I shall take the bowl. Let's take, a, Let's take the bowl. Thank you very much. Thank you, Let's give a round. Thank you, Centaur. Thank you, Centaur. Thank you. And head of schedule, no less. <laughs> the merchant Zemo started selling a strange concoction which is supposed to hide the mark of the Ashers. Its efficacy is dubious to say the least. Uh, and he is a well-known charlatan. Yet, many hopeless people trust him and his compound. You dropped, yeah, a little bit. Do we ban Zemo, Zymo's healing potion? Hmm, shall we ban a clear could con I, artist? Could you pass the centaur meat? Thank you so much. Uh-huh. So, and if, it, should we, should we ban, we would have uh, worse morale. Ah, uh -huh. yes. And, but if we say nay and, and allow this to continue, we would get money. All right. And a bad sticker. Oh, that's yeah, not all right. Know, roller coaster, right? I will take a stand on this matter. Okay, I would love By to hear By passing. It. He's so brave. There is not a good, easy way to eat this. Hell hey, my dog. you will clean that. It's the only way for me to eat. And I, t I also nay. shall donate my power to the cause here. I vote I two for know. nay. We should not ban this potion that is giving the hope to the Ashers. But it is a false hope. We will find a cure, but they can still believe in the meantime, lest they give up. War looms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the nay. I'm gonna go nay. I'm covered in chicken grease. Though. Do we have anything to degrease? I can see the glistening of the chicken grease upon his power. <laughs> Doth thy have wet naps? Thanketh thou. I too would like to take a wet nap. I believe that's what killed your father. <laughs> <laughs> he jacked off and then fell asleep in a berry. <laughs> puff, puff, pass. On that medicinal red iron shit. All right, what say ye, Thistle? Depress. How do you vote on this matter? It's iron. No way. Oh, wow. right, when everyone's yelling it. Why? Why? Would you do that? Would you do that? New power leader. You know, just. Yeah. I can't really. No, do I it. don't. But there it is. Okay. And. What say you? You don't have to do anything. You could pass. I pass. There it is. All right, we have made. <laughs> Many ashers flock to the merchant. Yes. A few of them see a slight reduction in the dark spots around their mouths, but many more suffocate horribly as a result Ooh. of the alleged cure. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Regardless of these incidents, people keep trying to uh, keep trying the potion in the hope of getting rid of their unsightly marks. We are going to gain two coin. That flips, one, two, and we are going to lose food. That's interesting. None of those Wait, things are even on the potion. Wheat seems to be beholden to so many factors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything one, revolves two, around two. wheat. And then we also get a sticker, 174. Sign your integrity away. Sign it and then read it. Fair is fair. As is the law. 
depress thistle pines. The infamous healing potion created by Zemo continues to afflict the health of those Ashers willing to get rid of their gray mark and fool enough to believe a notorious swindler. So kind of just putting a hat on a hat. I mean, we knew that, right? Behold. Food is the food of food. Mind you, there's a war coming. Ah, that's fine. Have you read one? I have not. Would you like me to read Please one? Please do. Listen up. Aklar, a diplomatic emissary of the Enkali clans, arrives at court dressed in red iron armor. Oh. She claims they never intended to attack, they just reacted to the smugglers trespassing their borders. I think this happened 70 years ago? It was a while ago. Oh. She demands politely yet strongly that we show the same intent by recalling our troops from their border. It may just be a trick though, and we have no idea what the consequences of such a decision might be. Do oh. we recall their army? So. They have a problem with something we're doing now and invoke something that they did 70 years ago to make us feel bad. Yes. If we go I, we get a sticker, a sticky, a stick, a, a, st a sticky. Mm -hmm. And if we nay, it's a, a white flag. So how will this dilemma affect me? That's what I want to know. He's becoming less man with every <laughs> yeah, further generation. Do we recall our army? Yay no. or nay? No. Take your no. I think I concur. I also nay. This is the right decision. Oh, you we should horse. pull back the you troops. Know what? That is so refreshing. I concur as well. Thank you. But I feel a like you've got it listens. handled, so I'm gonna take one of those and pass. You guys have got it. Okay. All right. Well, Y'all are great. You can also, just so you know, can contribute to the war effort. No, you guys have got Anytime. it. Anytime. I mean, the war effort seems like great. somebody else is taking care of it already. So what happens so. if we don't? We lose the war. We'll have to find out once we. Okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Well, then, what I want to do is take my Bitcoin here, mm -hmm. and I want to invest my power, all of my power, in the power thing. And you can invest coin if you want. I've put enough coin in that damn bank. Well, I mean, you could put a little in. I need Pickle something cube? for a rainy day, and this is it. How do you vote, Pickle Cube? Puff, puff, pass. And that does it. There was only the nays have it. The nays have it. The nays have it. The nays have it. split the power three ways, which is annoying, but we refuse to recall the troops from the border with yeah. the kingdom of Enkal. <clears throat> this will make our people feel safer, but won't do anything to ease the rising tensions with the northern kingdom. Whether this strategy was brave or stern, only time will tell. So yeah. we, got, we got plus two to the little flaggy. Great. Yippee! Uh, and another. Great. And another one, and another one. And we're going to open envelope 60. Ah, uh, the good poet Khaled. <laughs> mm, not a momentum here on the table. We need to slow things down, I think. Or oh, speed them up. When the outpost in the North first report movement at the border, it's clear that war with the kingdom of Ankal is only a matter of time. When they attack, despite our army defending an entrenched position, and outnumbering the enemy five to one, the Ankali vanquished the northern garrison with demeaning ease. Many doubt we could ever stand up to their might. Our generals, however, believe that if we rely on our superior numbers and pull all the available resources of our larger kingdom, we may still prevail. As the Ankali start marching south towards Tork, we prepare to defend our people. The war has just begun. Two wars, my God! The signer of this card gains two, I think that's, Crave. Ooh, too oh. crave for you. Uh, star asterisk means the wheat starts with a negative inertia and a black momentum marker. And right. a black momentum marker? I think that's for yeah. the next game. Oh, wow. Oh, is yeah, that? Yeah, that's for the next game. Yeah, so oh, you sign that. Yeah. And then sign you it. get your crave. What's our next and then dilemma? This is now here. Mm. There we are. We'll remember that for the next round. Brockus, a deserter from the expedition that managed to escape and miraculously returned to Ancus alive, is found by the gods at his home in the village of Pike Macon. Some say he should be made an example of, but his family begs for mercy. Do we execute Brockus? And what is on the line is a positive white castle, a negative flag, or nay, is the Opposite, a positive flag and a negative white castle. What do you say, leader? Oh, depressed one. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Negative. 
No, wow. Yeah, baby. I don't want it to have, I don't want him killed. A deserter? You would have a deserter? What are we if not not murderers? We've murdered before. And we'll do it again. I'm sure of it, but maybe not What's this time. We got to balance it out. Sometimes you got to zag instead of zig. If you murder everyone, then you'll have no one to murder later. The pickle dragons have always said that. There's still a deserter. And imagine what precedent that sets if we allow deserters, no matter who they are or how much their family pleads. But I love to go without punishment. Not not my yes. president. Withdraw your vote. You talk about this. <laughs> it only works on his line. Yeah. Oh right. my my. I that might have made it worse, actually. I pass. Give me a coin. Oh. Careful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't be a bitch to the witch. <laughs> my foot. I think I agree with Derek. But I'm going to do what the witch does. I think his name is Diaper. Okay. No, no. You Could bitch. Do what the witch does. <laughs> I do not like what Sir Diaper has done. <laughs> yeah, With Diaper. Is that him? <laughs> it's no, you. Oh, oh, okay. Uh -huh. The D should have I'm have not wearing a diaper. Nay. Hey. Hey. Oh, wait. Nay. Hey. Hey. It goes to the moderator. Nay. 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 Nay! Is there no law in this land? Okay, we ultimately decide to pardon Bracchus. The tales of the swamp's horrors he shared would... Ah, sorry, something's in my eye. Ah. It might be chicken. It's probably chicken. Uh, yeah, it's, it's chicken. chicken. It is chicken. We ultimately decide <laughs> the tales of the swamp's whore he shared would have made a coward out of most. We have the gratitude of his family Yet this could set the precedent, like Dork said. It's what? diaper. It's neither. Plus two flag, oh, minus geez. one white castle. Plus one, two, four, three, four flag. flag. Oh. One, two, three, four. And then minus one castle. So flipped over, let it lose its momentum. Wow. And move the balance, the scales down one, yeah. Scary. Right. Wow. This is a very nay council. Uh, what are you, horses? Uh, and speaking of which, here he comes with tiramisu. No. Oh, yay! Okay. Fondue? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Tess here, Thistle Pine, Duke of Floden. I want to get serious for a second. Have you ever gotten home from the store, checked your bags, and realized that you've forgotten something? If you have, you know it's no laughing matter. But fortunately, with DoorDash, you can get household essentials, drinks, snacks, all delivered to you in 30 minutes. DoorDash, the app that connects you with your favorite restaurants, can get you household hold essentials and groceries, all from DoorDash. Ordering is so easy, you just open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where, and then your order will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the US, in Puerto Rico, in Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. I'm hoping they're opening a Cheesecake Factory in Ankist. <laughs> Otherwise, we might go back to where. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code BOARD2021. That's 25% off up to $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code BOARD2021. Don't forget that's code BOARD2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Our scholars sent us a transcription of an ancient text engraved on a wall at Destroy Chalice it! Peak. Remember Chalice Peak from oh. all those centuries uh -huh. ago? It suggests that the mother waged war against the Sun Empire of legend to free the world from its corruption Good. and brought about its downfall. However, in doing so, she accidentally gave birth to a cursed black eclipse. Many think it should be dismissed as heresy. Do we verify its plausibility? If we do verify its plausibility, we will gain scholarly knowledge. Shit. If we don't, we will lose scholarly knowledge. Shit. Sounds like heresy to me. Yes. Heresy. I, I love heresy. Nay. Bullshit. Hennessy and heresy. I decide. I do. Come on. Stand by it. I. What kind of witchy woman would I be? Show yourself as a true pickle. <sighs> Suckle from the teeth of the mother. Damn it. I want to suckle the teats, but I also want to vote I. Vote I, you bitch. Here's a gold coin for Nay. <laughs> for Nay? Yes. 
but ow! <laughs> Can anyone offer me gold for I? I'd much prefer to go I. How about a gra uh, grab in the grab? <laughs> what? Whatever push? was in that bag has gone bad. I'll tell Diaper you that is offering you a coin for nay. Diaper? No, don't do it. No, she's not diaper. Oh, you're not diaper. You're a witch. The nickname will never stick. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the diaper within my thighs. What are you offering me, witch? Uh, Last time my trinkets, they didn't necessarily rise in value over generations. Like you notice I how saw. the game is like, I saw. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay, I've spent too much time, clearly. Right. I'm going to vote Nay. to do what you said. To, so you give me what, give me the stuff. It was trinkets and trinkets. no coins. Uh, and gold. No, 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 she said one gold. No, there has no, to I be put it down. I don't, I don't think game. she ever oh, wait, said gold. So coins. nothing? I'm not going to vote for you then. If the I'm game rules state that you have to vote use Vote for currency. them then for free and get nothing. Are you not going to give me a gold? Nope, I'll give you some trinkets. But Again, not a binding actual trade. Not a binding, yeah. but he could vote for it. Sir, Sir Darkus offered you a coin. I do not. It's oh, been taken away like 15 taken away. years ago. So you decide what you want to do. You're on your own now. I, I, okay, I'll, do, I'll give you one last chance to give me a gold coin. Or I'm gonna I'll go give back. you one last chance to fucking vote. All right, all right. Uh, j just give me the trinkets and I'll You I'll do vote. have to pull right. up for shit You get a phone, a flip yeah! What is what this What is this magical thing? I pass. Give me off of this set, please. Still no power yeah. on that war. It's three to two? Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. Thinking me have to do all the damn work right around here. Gross. Did, what did you just do in my helmet? I wiped my nose all over my monkey glove. Oh, God. Three to three, it is a tie. Oh, wow. That's we convenient. must go to the moderator to decide. Oh, moderator, shit. Moderator, what say you? Moderator. Yes, you. Nay! Nay! Betrayal! <laughs> Betrayal! Very good. And here comes the centaur with some macaroon. We what? decide not to investigate such a heretical hypothesis any deeper. However, the sinister image of a black eclipse lingers in our mind. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, I got a lot of stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, win some, you lose some. Minus two. One, you? two, three, three four. Absolute. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, does that One, end the two, game? Three, That's four. Hard. Not no. even close. The king is growing older and we have grown tired, so let us try and do as much work as we can before- Shut it! Donations of the cult of the mother are dwindling. <gasps> the prior mother wants to give the option to believers of the mother to pay all of their taxes exclusively to the cult instead of the kingdom. Do we allow people to pay taxes to the cult directly? For I, it's- Bad card and a bad diamond. Mm. Mm. And for Nay, it's diamond. Ooh. I think the choice is obvious. We should allow the cult of the mother to be considered as important in our society as it possibly could be, and I'm prepared to stand by that with an eye. I won't have it. Oh, oh my goodness. Holy fuck. Jesus That's a lot of power. God. Seven on <laughs> Holy seven. mother of cult. That's an enough to win a war. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, diaper. What? And I'm going to pass. Oh, a pass. A shocking pass. This is could be a stain upon the ha You don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, you have fallen so far from the tree of loving thine mother. We pickles know how to pass. Pickle pass oh. that pickle into my mouth. Yeah, no, I'm also gonna pass. Okay. <laughs> Did you take that from the pot? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so, comes back to me. Well, there's absolutely no way I can do it, so nays have it. Yes! Massively. Mm. Each of you get a power. Thank you. Huzzah! All right. Hooray to ignorance! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Again! Behold magic! Behold magic! Tell results. us what has happened. Oh, right, I read You're it. You're in a okay. game right now. We firmly refuse to allow an option that would impoverish the royal treasury for the sole benefit of the cult. Tax money is better spent for the people than for lavish golden altars. Yeah. Plus two rupees. Oh, fuck. And the king is dead. No. Just kidding. Oh, wow. You never that's, joke that's about a, such a yeah, dire a, thing. Is, whoa, bro. Wow, wow. Whoa, bro. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Damn, P cube. Right. Don't bother. Don't mind me.
learning history can help generals plan better strategies. But the chronicles of a battle we lost against the Inkali near Ryoth in the northern part of the Mark of Torque tells an embarrassing tale. Go torque! Torque and embarrassment. Those are two things that very much go together. Torque! Hand in hand. Hand in orangutan hand. Torque high school football rules! Torque state! <laughs> Cardin, commander of the local division, fled battle as the enemy arrived and left his soldiers at their mercy. Should we erase this shameful tale from our anals? Oh yes, I Good love erasing anything <laughs> from my anals. If we do say, hey, yeah, I, yeah, let's erase it, we mm. get a negative number. Knowledge, name mm -hmm. scroll, and a very, very. And what if we stuff our anals more scroll. with more? What do we do then? And then the opposite, yeah. Okay, okay. I see. Hmm. Give me a corn eye pass. Corn? Oh, yes. I love it when it's my turn. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Such a shameful mark on our kingdom's history. It feels like we should do away with it. Nay! Nay! And I do that. What would the two of you do if given the chance? I would erase this. It's a disgusting What does that mean? What is it? I would, I. Oh. Yeah, I, I, yes. I erase. What of it? Is what he would say. What would you say? I'm not voting yet, but I would say I. <laughs> Fist me. Power. Wow. Yes. Six. Yes, brother. Six. Fist, here we go. Fist me, mother. <laughs> it somehow it's made its way to me. <laughs> what say you, Thistle? King pops their head in and they're like, is everything okay? <laughs> do I need to like talk to anybody? How much combined would we have to do to defeat them? That's I'm the six. moderator still. That's six. They're at eight. So four I have four. I have. So if we did four more. and four, and then moderate, we could scrub our anal's. Rai Rai gets to vote again, just so it's clear. It's just you both put go. in four, and then you'll win. Keeps going go. around. To mm, no. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. This is a good time to bet, by the way. Oh, five, okay. All right, good. Five, good. scandal. That's good to know, so that way I'll only have to split the pass. Wait, how did? Two ways. Why did you take the pass? <laughs> I was right wondering if that might five. happen. You'll get your power back. I have stayed. You have already won, so you shouldn't do anything at all. You could put in more, though, I'm if you wanted. Sleeping. Nope, I don't. Right. Nope, let's move all on. All right, Where's the nays have it. When is my investments gonna pay off? It won't. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Bang. Regardless of how much it embarrasses our people, the name of Cardin will be forever remembered as an immortal, albeit shameful memento. Morale goes down one. Oh. What is, which one is that? Top. That's uh, a flag. A flag goes down one and the scroll goes up three. Nice. Ugh, morale, so low is right now. Is there a now. skull next to that one? There is. Not a oh, you hate to see it. Now we also need to draw a sticker. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. One fifty-six. Fifty-six. Knowledge comes from errors. With the memory of Cardan's shameful retreat in our chronicles, we can hope future generations will learn from it. Well, good for you. But now I got my son asking me what that war was all about. I'll be home soon, mother. War. It's the last game, mother. Oh, sorry. I a grotesque sculpture made from human bones is discovered on the hunting reserve of the Marquis of Duilac. In front of an uninviting cave, many think the impious? Artifact should be destroyed and the cave sealed forever, but the rector thinks that something precious may be hiding there. A group of knights blessed by Tilda, a saint daughter of courage, are ready to explore the cave. Do we order them to receive? Proceed. Uh, they want the rector explore wishes the cave. to receive after checking <laughs> out the animals. The witch is drunk. It can't slur in her words. If we want to explore the cave, do we tell them to go I or yes. nay? Yes, what is the cost of if this? If we say I, we get a gold sticker. A sticker. That's it? A <laughs> gold sticker? Okay. For uh, our troubles, we, we give just a sticker. if we say nay, we get a little flag, a, wo a white flag. Okay. A, a good flag? Yeah, good, good, flag. good flag. Oh, wonderful. Oh, One of my favorite bands, white flag. Blow up that cave. Was that an option? So that <laughs> means I, I oh, okay. tell them to see? Okay. He's just going for He meant like, a, well, like in a toilet or something. All right. What say Thistle E? Thistle, be a no from me. Wow. A nay. Yeah. We are in agreement. So are we? Don't want them to explore the cave. They seek to end the game. Blow the cave up. Very well. Five year rule. I, I will. Guess. You have a coin, by the way. 
Good. I wanted it. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't want to miss out on that, you greedy little diaper bastard. How dare you? I am not a bastard. <laughs> I will take a coin and pass. <laughs> I just, My this... diaper's full of family heirlooms. <laughs> I do pass. What? I don't care. I also don't care. Care. I am shocked. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck. I just Nay. want okay. gold. <laughs> Nay. Nay. Nay, here's what has happened. Local villagers and priestesses in the grip of superstition disassemble the culture of... What did you just say? <laughs> it's which? a lot of S's. Give her a break. Funny The grip of superstition disassemble the sculpture and bury all the bones so that the spirits of their former owners can go back to the mother's womb to be born once again. <sighs> The entrance of the cave is then sealed with rocks and slacked with lime to prevent anyone from exploring its depths. Very cool, very cool. Okay, two plus to the flaggy boy. So just back up to the top. Abdication! Uh, and Not that moves that. up. And that's it. Abdicated. Why'd you have to go and make things so, so abdicated? abdicated. Oh, God. Oh. It has truly been an honor serving on this council, but it is now time to determine who did it best. Town Crier here with an official scoring breakdown. A player's score is determined by their secret agenda cards and open agenda tokens. Secret agenda cards show two different scoring conditions, a resource goal and a money ranking goal. The resource goal awards players with points for keeping resource markers in specific areas of the resource track by the end of the game. The money ranking goal rewards points to the player with the first, second and third most coins at the end of the game. Players will be rewarded different amounts of points based on their chosen secret agenda. Open agenda tokens are associated with specific resources and can be either positive or negative. Negative. For a positive open agenda, a player gains three points if the resource is the highest, or one point if it is the second highest on the resource track. For a negative open agenda, a player loses three points if the resource is the lowest, or loses one point if it is the second lowest on the resource track. Extra points are also awarded to the players with the most power remaining at the end of the game. The player with the most power remaining at the end of the game gains two whole points. The player with the second most power remaining gains one additional point. These scores are logged into the realm Chronicles, and the player with the most points is the winner of the game. The heir to this house will have the honor of marrying into the royal line. Players are also awarded campaign scores of prestige and crave based on their ranking and whether or not the king died or abdicated in this game. These prestige and crave points will both count towards the final victory at the end of the campaign. We have tallied up the scores. Again, I must say, it has been a pleasure working with all of you in this King's Council. Dear Red Lobster has abdicated the throne. He was a good Red Lobster. He's still alive. He will be remembered fondly. And we all did the best we May could. May he rest in peace. To, <laughs> add, to help this kingdom on their way, but some of us did better than others. So let's see right now how we scored as houses. In last place, Thistle Pine. Sorry, Mom. Hmm, almost shot down, right down the middle. House Thistlepine, playing as the extremist, received 12 points from their resource goal and two points from their money ranking for having the second most gold at the end of the game for a total of 14 points. In third place, Rygon. <laughs> What? House Rygon, playing as the moderate, received 13 points from their resource goal and three points from their morale open agenda token, as morale is the highest resource on the resource track at the end of the game. The keeper of scores in the Realm Chronicle docked House Rygon one point for excessive tomfoolery, bringing their total to 15 points. Tied for second place. House Pickle. House Pickle, playing as greedy, received 11 points from their resource goal, four points from their money ranking for having the third most gold at the end of the game, and one point for having the second most power at the end of the game for a total of 16 points. And House Buttermilk. Buttered Biscuit. Butter Biscuit. House Buttered Biscuit, playing as opulent, received 10 points from their resource goal and six points from their money ranking for having the most gold at the end of the game for a total of 16 points. Much of my biscuits and I'll pickle your pickle. Pickles are nasty, but if you are a cucumber cube, call me. And last, and last, but of course not least, the winner of this round was House Dorak. House Dorak, playing as the rebel, received 13 points from their resource goal, three points from their money ranking, tying Bortney for having the most gold at the end of the game, and two points for having the most power at the end of the game for a total of eight points. Which became Blast! House 
uh, Dorcas. Dorcas, which is now House Diaper. <laughs> yeah, wow, really? Yes, oh. formally, <laughs> formally. We change with the times. And speaking of changing with the times, it is time for my heir to take the throne. Their name will be King Badunkadunk. Yay! Yes. Yes. All hail yeah. King Badunkadunk! All hail King Badunkadunk! To the fattest ass in the kingdom! May he serve justly for about 45 to an hour and 15. And that brings us Wait. halfway through the season of <gasps> our King's Dilemma playthrough. We're making great progress. I think we have a ash disease that's kind of turning people into zombies. Let's not forget about killer mosquitoes. Don't forget about the killer mosquitoes. Um, I think we've angered a cult. We got a war war brewing and a bank that's out of control. A lot of more fun to be had. So we hope that you stick with us, and we'll see you next time. Sorry, Ragar. No more. No. No more time. I would. I would just like to say my grandfather told me. We'll cut it. All right. Told me that. Cut the. Cut it. Said that I should give the helmet. Back it's covered to in a chicken pickle. grease. If I ever met the no. please, being passed please. down from generation. Burn it, burn it, please. Ho ho, dear viewers, that brings today's story to a conclusion. But this is not the end. We will gather round the hearth once more in a fortnight, minus seven, for the next thrilling episode in our epic saga. But don't forget to like it, subscribe it, and click thine link, which will take you to the roosterteeth.com store to purchase our excellent wares. Ho, ho, dear travelers, I bid thee well.